As the sheriff, I am angered at how these men were treated and how they died. Right now, nine people are charged, including the warden at Waupon Correctional Institution. We'll tell you about the investigation into the deaths at the prison. Plus, Madison Police sending some of its officers to the Republican National Convention. How many, plus their preparation. And as we take a look outside this morning, we are taking a look at a nice day on tap here for us on Thursday. Doesn't that look lovely? Beautiful shots of the sun coming up over the city. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Shane Hogan. And I'm Chris Stanford. I think we're done uh, talking about the severe weather risk for yeah. a while or any storm possibilities. I want to think about the bright side. Yeah. Everything start. is luscious and green out there, right? It is. You know? Everything is flourishing. Yeah. We do have kind of a swing in temperatures that we're tracking. Savannah is out on the patio to start us off, though, with how things are at this morning. Good morning, guys. Yeah, temperatures are in the upper 50s, lower 60s right now. But as Chris just mentioned, there will be a temperature swing between the next couple of days below average. And then we finally get back to an above average pattern. That's not going to be until mid to late week next week. For now, we're at 61 in Madison, 59 in Middleton, and then also 61 just to our south. We are eventually going to see temperatures warm a little bit. Not a lot today, though. So it stays below average, like I mentioned. Friday's high tomorrow, 72, 69 Saturday only, and then we're back up a degree on Sunday to 70. You can see the average highs, though, only range between 74 and 75 degrees. That rises a little bit next week as the month gradually pushes forward to mid-June. That's when temperatures are going to be back to an above average pattern. I think around Wednesday next week, definitely by Thursday, Friday, and next Saturday. Overall, comfortable weekend ahead. We do have a couple chances for showers. No severe weather. Shouldn't be any thunderstorms. I think a couple pockets of embedded heavy showers. And then maybe by next week, as the heat and humidity both are going to be in factor, could see some storm chances return during that time frame. I think we're looking at maybe early to midweek, maybe as late as Thursday, guys. All right, Savannah, on top of it, thank you. Back to continuing coverage now from Waupon, where the warden of the city's correctional facility is being charged in connection to the death of an inmate. Eight other staff members are facing charges yeah, as well. Those charges come after the sheriff's office began investigating. It's part of multiple issues the prison is currently facing, others being a lawsuit regarding lockdown conditions and a federal investigation into alleged smuggling among employees. Former warden Randall Hepp was booked into the Dodge County Jail yesterday on a felony charge of misconduct in office. Since June of last year, four inmates at the prison have died. They are Dean Hoffman, Cameron Williams, Donald Meyer, and Tyson Lemons. Sheriff Dale Schmidt, though, says the charges currently stem from two of those deaths. One of those inmates died from a stroke after officers ignored repeated medical incidents leading up to his death. The other was ruled a homicide due to malnutrition and dehydration. The sheriff's office says he was left without food for days at a time. This morning, our Braden Ross is looking into how often this happens. The man in charge of caring for inmates here at Wapong Correctional Facility now facing the possibility of becoming one himself. That's accountability activists say has been a long time coming. As the sheriff, I am angered at how these men were treated and how they died. Nine now former Wapong Corrections employees booked into the Dodge County Jail Wednesday morning. There must be accountability for the actions and inactions of state employees. The Dodge County Sheriff laying out the actions and lack thereof that he says led to the deaths of two inmates at the prison. He was dead in his cell for over 12 hours until they located him the next morning. But what Dennis Franklin heard didn't surprise him. I just want the community, I want the world to know that this has been a common practice in the Department of Corrections here in the state of Wisconsin where uh, health care has always been an issue. He now serves as the interim associate director for Expo or ex incarcerated people organizing of Wisconsin. He says he's heard horror stories from current and former Wapon inmates, particularly about the medical care there. It's used more as a, a weapon than a service. Uh, individuals are being um, told to uh, just go back to your unit or you're just writing up here just to as an excuse to get out of your cell. And it's not just that he's seen the issues in our prisons firsthand. It definitely brings me back to a time where uh, I was serving time in a uh, Racine Correctional Institution. That's why when I asked him how it felt to hear this news, all he had to say was this. It's a long time coming.
All nine people that were charged in this place, including the warden himself, have been let out on signature bond. For now, reporting in Waupon, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. You can find all of our coverage on the Waupon Prison Investigation through the Channel 3000 mobile app or at channel3000.com. A live look at Pfizer Forum this morning in Milwaukee. They are set to host the Republican National Convention this July. Already security is a major concern for organizers a month out from the convention. Madison police say that they'll send 85 of their officers to Milwaukee to help with security. Officers at the convention come from several specialized MPD teams, including the special events and SWAT teams. MPD assistant Matt Ty says that recent events in Madison have prepared those officers for the convention. MPD says it has 500 officers on staff total and sending 85 to Milwaukee for that week won't impact policing in Madison. We are comfortable with that number that we can um, sustain our, our operations and provide uh, community safety here in Madison with uh, you know, nothing that the, the public will not notice any, any difference in the policing model. But in the event of any civil unrest in Madison, those 85 officers could return to the capital city if needed. The move comes as the RNC is preparing for protests around the area of the convention. Just two weeks ago, the RNC called for the designated protest area known as the First Amendment Zone to be moved about a mile, excuse me, a half mile away from Pfizer Forum. The original protest site was at Pier Marquette Park, just a quarter mile away. The U.S. Secret Service is responsible for setting the security perimeter, but they say the city decides where those demonstrations may take place. 606, now a woman is dead following a crash in the town of Rutland, just south of Oregon. Deputies and EMS were sent to a crash on Highway 14 at Old Stage Road. Witnesses say an SUV was headed west on Old Stage when the driver pulled out in front of a semi going north on 14. The SUV driver died at the scene. The semi driver was not hurt. Time is 6.06. A new study finds some patients who stop taking antidepressants will experience withdrawal symptoms. That study was published in the Lancet Psychiatry Journal. It finds 1 in 35 patients will likely experience severe symptoms. Those can include nausea, dizziness, and insomnia. Some medications carry a higher risk than others. Researchers suggest, suggest doctors consider these findings when discussing treatment options with their patients. 607 now, time to check in with Savannah and what's coming up in your forecast. Stay Savannah. Guys, we're tracking excessive heat in the southwest. We'll talk about if that can make its way here coming up. And in your morning sports, some former Badger volleyball players are headed to the Olympics. Find out who. And Saturday is June 8th, better known as 608 Day, our favorite day. And just coming up after the break, we're going to talk about how you can celebrate local businesses and have a good time in the 608 this weekend. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. Dear sharp curves, don't spin your wheels. With more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand, you can bet your bottom dollar we're sharper than ever. Because, man, we got traction. Yours, Toyota Sedans. Right now, you can lease a fun-to-drive new 2024 Corolla for $219 a month. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Everyone has their own idea of what fitness means to them. Here's what it means to us. We believe fitness can be more than exercise that it can build a better tomorrow. It can change how you feel. It can build more than muscle. It can build community. And no matter what your reason, the common goal is simple. It's for a better tomorrow. Join us for a better tomorrow. It's gonna be another sizzling hot summer. Don't burn up your money on high energy bills. Get new energy efficient windows from Champion. We have saved 25 to 30% on our energy bill since installing the windows, which blew my mind. Stay cool and save 35% off new Champion windows. Plus, get an extra $100 off every window. The more you buy, the more you save. Save 35% off your new Champion windows and $100 off every window you buy. Call 888 4Champion or schedule your free in home estimate online today. 
Need inspiration? Shop Pick and Save. For over 30,000 mouth-watering choices, plus savings like digital coupons worth over $600 each week and up to $1 off per gallon at the pump. Pick and Save is worth it every time. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Dad, are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love, printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. Hi, I'm Fiona Rataj with the League of Women Voters of Dane County. Here are three things to know. Make sure you are registered to vote at your current address. You can check or register at myvote.wi.gov. If you do not have a Wisconsin driver's license or state ID, you can register to vote with your municipal clerk by completing the registration form on my vote. Absentee ballots must be requested. Three things to know. Part of News 3 Now's Three Cares Community Impact. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Moving forward. Hey, we are looking ahead to the weekend in the 608. It's also one of our favorite days of the year because Saturday is 608 day. That's right. And our Josh Brider is live in Madison with how you can celebrate on Saturday. Hey, Josh. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, 608 day on Saturday. It's our favorite day of the year, June 8th, of course, and we're making it official here at Hilldale as we are getting ready to have a good time, support local businesses, and also give back right here in our community. We're doing it all this weekend, and Nancy Horn is going to help make it happen. Nancy, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks, thanks so for much. Being here. Yes, thanks so much for having us out again. This is always our favorite day of the year, and this is really about celebrating what makes it so special here, right? Exactly. We love this event. I mean, you can't beat it when you have an event that brings people in, gives back, nothing better than that. So how can people come out to Hilldale and not only support local businesses, but really give back and have a good time this weekend? So when you come to Hilldale on Saturday, so it's wonderful that it ended up on a Saturday this year. Perfect timing. We start with the farmer's market um, in their rear lot behind L.L. Bean from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. And then when they come here, we start off with our 608 Cabaret, where we have half a dozen uh, performers that come and they each represent a charity. So you'll be able to donate as they're performing to charities like Urban Triage, um, we have Dane County Humane Society, so several different charities that people can donate to, which is great. It sounds like there's really something for everyone, and I think to see how much this event has grown over the years for you, even since we've been coming out here yes. year after year, is huge. Yes, it is huge. Throughout the entire day, um, we have different events that benefit different charities. So another one that we have is um, Pride Family Photos near our Rainbow Wall. So we have that benefiting outreach, and families can come and get their photo taken go to hilldale.com and reserve a spot. You know, this is kind of the kickoff the summer for a lot of families this week too. I know yep. school's out for a lot of folks today. Yes, exactly. So, you know, what is your message to families and, you know, getting people out here to support those local businesses this summer? Yes, very important. Um, about half of our stores are local, locally owned stores and restaurants. So it's important that everybody come out. But the great thing is, you know, we like to see a lot of families shopping together. People run into friends they haven't seen in a while. So it's a lot of fun to watch. But this particular day, we we have all those events that I mentioned. We have entertainment throughout the day. We have fun, you know, fun games like this, like the magnet wall. We have our um, mini golf that we brought back out. So there's a lot going on. Yeah, and I love about making the memories, right? That's what it's exactly. all about here. That's so if people are interested, thing. yes, if people are interested in yeah. checking out 608 Day, there's a lot going on. I know you yes. guys have a full schedule, so how can they learn more? Yeah, so if they go to our website, hilldale.com, and they go to the event page, we have a whole microsite all about the event that has the entire listing and the whole timeline and there are a lot of specials that the stores are doing too whether it's you know specific deals for six dollars and eight cents or six percent or eight percent off and some of them do give back to charity yeah. so it's a it's a great event you can get some deals shop and enjoy all the festivities and we'll be speaking to a couple of them coming up live here yes. around 6:45. nancy thank you so much thank you oh it looks like we're out of time. we got to send it back to the studio this morning. <laughs> if you'd like to learn more, you can go to channel3000.com. I'm pretty giddy this morning, guys. This is like my I can't day. Tell. This is in the 608, <laughs> day, right? Man. We love this day. Hey, I'm going out. I'm going to go to the farmer's market Saturday morning. That's what I'm excited about. Cool.
All right, lots yeah, to check go. out there. And it's going to be beautiful weather, too. Absolutely. So no reason to not go check it out. Hilldale, awesome. Thanks, Josh. Hey, Josh is always looking for inspiration to share in the 608. So uh, reach out on social media or email him for a chance to be featured. All right, time is just about 615 on your Thursday. Savannah Brito is here with your first warm weather. Hey, Savannah. Hey guys, good morning. Upper 50s, lower 60s, much more comfortable outside. I'll show dew points in a minute. Those are much lower than what we have seen the last couple of days. 61 in Madison, 62 in McFarland, 59 in Verona and Middleton, 58 in Cross Plains. That's similar also across southern Wisconsin. And actually our temperatures the next couple of days and during the nighttime hours, those are going to be lower, so we're actually going to be a few degrees below average. But the thing to note, it is much more comfortable out there. When you have dew points, even pushing the mid 40s in Decorah, La Crosse, Prairie du Chien's at 47, we're at 51 in Madison. When they're above 60, that's when it feels muggy outside. The last several days, we have seen that factored in. No longer the case this morning, though, so it is comfortable out there. That sticks around for some time, but it is breezy out there. So we kind of got to take what we can get. 18 miles per hour, Monroe, 60 in Wisconsin Dells 20 in Camp Douglas that's going to expand to more of the area Sheboygan sitting at 31 miles per hour I think that's what most of us are going to see later in the day so winds Thursday Thursday night and Friday we're talking about 30 miles per hour so yeah it'll be breezy but the winds will ease some at least we have the sunshine out there and comfortable weather no rain until later in the day I think spotty chances for showers at best most if not all of us across southern Wisconsin Wisconsin should stay dry winds though we're out of the northwest that's bringing us a little bit cooler of weather eventually that does become out of a southerly pattern those clouds and as the moisture levels increase brief overnight we're going to clear so that allow temperatures to fall lower to mid 50s maybe even a few areas that fall into the 40s upper 40s tonight next chance the rain moves in early Saturday morning I think that'll clear the area pretty quick and it's not going to be as widespread might be a line of showers maybe a few isolated thunderstorms I think winds are going to be the bigger thing at that point in time but humidity levels. Those stay low the next several days. They do come up a little bit into the mid 50s. I think briefly over the weekend as the humidity levels rise a tad bit. But overall this weekend is looking pretty good and the days leading up to it again. Few isolated showers at best today. And then we have the better chance coming early next week to midweek. That's also when temperatures are going to warm 75 by Tuesday after a comfortable range of temps in the upper 60s, lower 70s the next five days. And then we'll make a run maybe even the mid 80s by Thursday next week. Dana Rentke and Lauren Carlini continue to make Wisconsin volleyball history even after their playing days at the UW Fieldhouse are over. The Badger duo are heading to Paris to represent not only their country, but the University of Wisconsin at the 2024 Olympics. Rentke and Carlini become the first Badgers in program history to be named to Team USA's national volleyball roster. We're just a day away from the AmFam Championship teeing off for the final time at University Ridge, and reigning champ Steve Stricker will get his first round going mid-morning. Strick will tee off on hole one at 10.50 with Ernie Els and Jim Furyk. 11 minutes before that group at 10.39, Jerry Kelly will hit the links as he tries for his third AmFam Championship. He's paired with Justin Leonard and David Duvall. Jordan Love's been working on his craft outside of Green Bay's OTAs this offseason. Like last year, the Packers quarterback has been holding throwing sessions with his receivers in California. Romeo Dobbs, Jaden Reed, and Dontavian Wicks have already made the trip out for some reps and routes. And when you think of the offense as a whole, it's hard to name a clear number one receiver. Well, that's quite all right with Love. You know, you don't have to have a, a number one receiver. I think it's it works out well when you can spread the ball out and uh, you got different guys making different plays and you can put them in different areas. Um, I think it puts a lot more stress on the defense and, uh, you know, the calls that they can get in. So uh, I think in the long run it helps us in not having a number one guy, a true number one guy, but um, I think all those guys can step up and be the one, um, you know, any given day. And to track town USA we go for the NCAA championships. Wisconsin's Adam Spencer punches his ticket to Friday's 1500 meter final after finishing second in the semifinals. Spencer finished in 337.22. And then in the shot put, Jason Suarez uncorked a toss of 67 feet, 10 and a half inches to earn him a silver at the outdoor championships. His second place throw was one and a half inches off first place. And that's it for morning sports.
Have a great day. All right, Zach, thank you very much. Put that man on the Badgers offensive line. Ooh, goodness, that is a beast. That was a great Boy. toss there. Congrats to all them. All right, coming up, uh, we've got your trending stories on this Thursday morning. And in our next half hour, some new details from an armed confrontation involving Beloit police last week. And as we had a break on this Thursday, we're taking a look at gas prices on average across Wisconsin and across the country. We are back right after this. Need help with a consumer issue? Contact News 3 Now's Call for Action. Shop from the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. All with Bergstrom's negotiation-free upfront pricing, including our exclusive seven-day price protection and money-back guarantees. Stop in or shop and purchase at bergstromchevrolet.com. Now, don't you worry. I'm going to take real good care of your window. You need the experts at Feldco. Let the experts at Feldco kickstart your summer with two-for-one windows and no interest until 2026. Plus, we'll get it done Feldco fast so you can enjoy your new windows all summer long. Two-for-one windows won't last long. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for Feldco. Tina, the Tina Turner Musical. See her triumphant story and prepare to be ecstatically blown away. Direct from Broadway. Playing June 11th through 16th at Overture Center. Tickets at Overture.org. Best areas that we found, unfortunately, which is probably the area that people we found were suffering the most, was from tax. Mm -hmm. And so by building this wealth optimization team, right, where we can bring in CFAs, CFPs, tax attorneys, CPAs, and really get to the heart of the matter of, you know, targeted, you know, risk, institutionally managed portfolios to specialized indexing strategies to basically helping people make that transition from accumulation to distribution and understand that it's a whole nother game. To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so much. From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> Goobers! <laughs> Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to delicious. delicious. Ordinary is the opposite of beautiful. Because beauty excites. It energizes. It drops our jaws. Dilates our eyes. Makes us look twice. A beautiful home, a beautiful life, is something we create. And we can start right now at Floor & Decor. You have a consumer issue, and you keep getting the runaround. It was just a total nightmare. What you need is an advocate. It's call for action to help me. Nobody else did. News 3 Now's call for action team has the experience and resources to get results. He was able to accomplish in a couple months what we couldn't accomplish in four years. Need help? Contact us by phone or on channel3000.com. Call for action, only on News 3 Now. Moving forward for you. Welcome back. We want to show you a special picture here. This is our own Josh Spryder speaking to some students at Samuel Gompers Elementary in Madison. He was a guest at their Pride Day assembly yesterday. He got to share some positive messaging to more than 200 kids about why love, respect, and kindness matter. What a perfect person to be delivering that message Could to our more. kids, right? Couldn't yeah, I love agree that. more. So, uh, hey, it's uh, summer camping season, right? And the Oakland Zoo wants to remind people to be bear aware. All right, tell me what that means. <laughs> so they set up a campsite to show just how fast bears can mess things up. Here you go. So, uh, yeah, the bears, they know exactly what they're doing. Look, picking the marshmallows off the stick. What do you think a bear is feeling inside when they eat a marshmallow? Oh, complete joy. <laughs> They want the chocolate and yeah. crackers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't skip out, right? Yeah. Uh, but just look at them. Just tear, uh, they just run wild on this uh, campsite here. Goodness. Have you guys been camping before outside like that? Maybe not seen a bear. But... Uh, I have not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's, been, it's been a minute, but 
Uh, we, uh, as you'll find out, there are some uh, beautiful state parks mm -hmm. here in the state, and uh, a lot of camping, uh, not only in our region, uh, up north, all, all, all corners of the state have amazing camping. Uh, and this is the time of year everybody gets out. So please be bear aware. You can see just uh, how crazy they'll get on your campsite if you leave food out. So they remind you don't leave the food out and don't run if you see a bear. And uh, I wanted to share this with everyone too. It is Tetris, uh, Tetris's 40th anniversary. It was 40 years ago today that it was uh, first released and then eventually uh, Nintendo would pick it up and then put it out on its legendary Game Boy. Mm -hmm. I have a fondness for the Game Boy. Who doesn't? Uh, it changed my <laughs> life. I was key demo whenever the Game Boy came out uh, as a kid. Did you, uh, uh, you saw the, the movie on Tetris, right? If you haven't seen origins? it, it's fascinating. Okay. <laughs> uh, and that, it, that movie is right up my alley. Uh, history combined with some nostalgia, uh, but yeah, how it came out of Russia and then picked up by, game, uh, by Nintendo. Uh, it's a fascinating story. Uh, if you come across it, I recommend it. You're an 80s boy through and through. Totally. <laughs> totally, totally. I can't believe Tetris is 40. That's crazy to that think about. That is crazy. All right. Hey, Savannah, it's the uh, last day for Madison yes. Metro School, so we got one last bus stop forecast. Yeah, I think the day is going to be good. Maybe a few isolated, very, very stray showers at best, but temperatures are comfy out there. Your daytime high later this afternoon, 68. It will be breezy, though, so might want a sweatshirt or lighter jacket, but not your typical summer-like day heading into early June. We'll talk about that pattern sticks around. That's what news for now this morning returns. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. You made a cow. Actually, it's a piggy bank. My inspiration to start saving. How about a more solid way to save? I'm listening. Well, BMO helps get your savings habit into shape with a cash reward every month you save. Cash, cash reward? And there's a cash bonus when you open a new checking account to get you started. Wow. Anything you can't do? Mugs. BMO. Life's better when you're under the American Family Insurance roof because they know your house is home base for their dreams. Whether it's a kid like me aiming for the big leagues, Ready? future rocket scientist, or a budding prima ballerina. <gasps> when you feel totally protected, your family's free to pursue their dreams. She's good. Let's go. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. Want to instantly look more attractive and years younger? The solution is whiter teeth. But you love coffee and tea, maybe even wine or smoking, and all of them stain your teeth and make them yellow. It's time you discovered Power Swabs, the fast five-minute revolutionary treatment. The first time I tried it, I was so surprised. My husband was so excited that he wanted to run out and get it. He said, what have you been trying? I said, well, I've tried this product called Power Swab. And he said, I can't believe how white your teeth are. From that point on, I've been sold. Power Swabs are guaranteed to whiten your teeth up to two shades after the first application. After five minute daily treatments for the next week, your teeth will be an average of six shades whiter. Power Swabs will whiten natural teeth and remove stains from veneers, bonding, caps, and crowns. This is a Power Swab smile. This is a power swap smart. Call, go online, or scan the code on your screen right now to receive 50% off. You'll also receive the Power Swabs Stain Out Quick Stick absolutely free. And in addition, you will also get free shipping. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. Try it today for only $14.95, plus get free shipping. Visit plexidermtrial.com or call the number on your screen. If your windows are leaky and drafty, it's possible they weren't installed properly. Many installers lack proper training, and shoddy installation leaves your home vulnerable to extreme weather. At Next Door and Window, we're reinventing window installation. Our approach ensures your windows are sealed tight and energy efficient. 
and your windows and doors will be installed by certified experts who treat your home as if it was their own. When you demand tomorrow's comfort, Next delivers. Visit nextwindow.com to learn more. Right now, an update from Beloit Police on an incident between an officer and a suspect who they say fired a shot and why. Plus, a warden charged for his role in a death at a prison. Hear the response from the Department of Corrections. And looking outside this morning, it looks like we can pit some of those storm risks behind us as we track a new change in your forecast. Thanks for tuning in on a Thursday, folks. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Shane Hogan. Thanks for waking up with us. Yes, the rain seems to be at least out of our way for a little bit. Let's enjoy some nice weather for a couple days, huh? Yeah, so we've got uh, a swing, actually, in the temperatures that Savannah's been tracking for us. She's out on the patio this morning to let us know what we can expect today. Hey, Savannah. Hey, guys, good morning. Yeah, we're waking up to the upper 50s and lower 60s, so it is much more comfortable outside. And thing to note, it's not as humid out there. We're waking up to the sunshine, so overall, much better pattern that we're going to enter at least over the next couple of days before the heat and humidity are going to return. That's not until midweek for now. So enjoy the temperature. 61 in Madison, 59 in Cross Plains, and 60 degrees just to our south. So overall, a better pattern. Sunshine early in the day, but clouds will increase later. And then a few stray showers, very isolated at best. Cannot be completely ruled out. Most, if not all, stay dry, though. I do think we're going to eventually see a change in pattern, though. Maybe a little bit more active as we're heading into about mid to late week next week. That's when temperatures warm mid to late week next week as well. So for now, temperatures will be near normal and actually slightly below it. But then as we're heading into Wednesday, Thursday and Friday next week, that's when we start to warm up. Enjoy the conditions that we're waking up to. Will be breezy. Winds are not gusting to about 15 to 20 everywhere, but to our northwest, they are a little gusty or on the gustier side of things. Comfortable weekend ahead, minimal chances for rain. We'll talk about when your next best chance of rain is going to come into the forecast across southern Wisconsin. That's coming up. All right, Savannah, thank you. We have new information this morning. Beloit police are confirming an officer fired their gun at a man who allegedly attacked them. It happened during a confrontation on May 29th. Officers were responding to a report of a man running through backyards on Oak Street. Officers say they found the man. He charged at them and then they told him to stop and he didn't. One officer fired at him and missed. Police eventually arrested the 34 year old Thomas Sykes. He is now charged with felony burglary and child abuse, as well as several misdemeanors. We'd previously only known that a gun was discharged during this incident. Police, police hadn't originally told us uh, whether it was Sykes or an officer who fired the weapon. Now, this is the third time in the past two months a Beloit police officer has shot at a suspect. On May 16th, a BPD officer shot and killed 54-year-old Gregory Tracy. They say he stabbed someone and made more threats. Then on April 28th, Officer Nicholas Rodenbeck shot and killed 33-year-old Michael Ward. They say he refused to drop bladed weapons and was charging towards someone. Both of these instances are under investigation. Now to the investigation at the Waupon Prison. This morning, nine people are charged for two deaths there, including Warden Randall Hepp uh, facing charges of misconduct. Those charges stem from the death of 24-year-old Cameron Williams. Williams had a stroke and died in his cell last October. The Dodge County Sheriff says staff ignored Williams' repeated medical incidents, and evidence shows that he had been dead in his cell for at least 12 hours before he was found. We are operating the oldest prison in the state of Wisconsin at a dangerous and reckless manner. We are failure properly, failing to properly staff these facilities. Wapan Correctional has over 50% vacancy of staff. The Sheriff's Office investigation also concluded another inmate's death, Donald Myers, was a homicide by dehydration and malnutrition. Again, Hemp isn't the only person facing charges in this investigation. There are eight others who are either no longer employed by DOC or who are on unpaid administrative leave, Shane. Yeah, Chris, that's right. Correctional Officer Sarah Ransbottom and Correctional Sergeant Jeremy Chalker are charged with misconduct in public office. It's the same charge that HEP is facing. Registered nurses Gwendolyn Peachy and Jessica Hosfeldt, Correctional Sergeants Tanner Leopold and Alexander Holfelder, and Correctional Lieutenant Brandon Fisher are all charged with felony abuse of residents of penal facilities. 
Correctional Officer Jamal Russell is facing both of those charges as well. All of them are currently out on bond. The Department of Corrections Secretary says based upon these allegations against all nine, neither the department nor the state will provide them with legal representation. We do have a statement from the Department of Corrections that reads, maintaining the safety of people in our care and staff, as well as local communities, continues to be the DOC's top priority ensuring accountability for every individual who fails to uphold the DOC's high standards of conduct is a critical part of safety and security both within our institutions and beyond them. There is a lot to this story including details about two other deaths which uh, no one is charged for. There's also an ongoing federal investigation into the apparent smuggling operation at the Wapan prison. You can find all the details at channel3000.com and our News 3 Now mobile app. There are five new crisis stabilization centers in Wisconsin, and one of them is right here in Madison. Governor Tony Evers says these facilities are part of a larger movement to improve treatment of people having mental health crises. Patients will go on a referral and through emergency hotlines. Treatment includes counseling, group therapy, and medication. Researchers say farmland is often a battleground in the fight against climate change. Solar panels and energy crops pitted against food production. Now some researchers at UW-Madison are trying to change that. Armand Rahman reports. Across the country, there's been about 30 million acres of farmland that's been cultivated but abandoned since the 1980s. Now researchers at UW-Madison know where they are and how they can be used to plant crops that combat climate change. Next generation uh, cellulosic-based biofuel feedstock, something like switchgrass. Research scientist you, you Tyler Lark hopes that this yeah. simple online map his team at the Great Lakes Bioenergy Research Center created can help identify more places to put plants like switchgrass. And so these abandoned farmlands or formerly cropped lands could really possibly strike that sweet spot. That sweet spot is somewhere that won't disrupt food production or the natural ecosystem for the climate change busting crop to shine. So it can restore productivity, uh, improve water quality, reduce the need for some fertilizers and pesticides, um, and even improve habitat. It took Lark and his team a couple of years to use machine learning and satellite imagery to create the map. So once we had an understanding of how land was used each year, we stacked all those images on top of each other and said, what was the pathway of that land use? Before, counties would have to estimate roughly where abandoned land was and how much of it was there. And now for the first time we have that acre by acre picture where you can go down and now you could actually go and visit those fields and see what are the restrictions there, what are the trade-offs. Even though they were dealing with land that didn't actually go anywhere, some parts still shocked the team. We were surprised to see that there's actually not a lot of overlap with these abandoned farmlands and formal conservation programs. Now Lark says the next step is to use socioeconomic factors to determine why the land in certain places was abandoned. Reporting in Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Time is 6.37. This Saturday is the More Than Pink Walk to support breast cancer research and awareness. News 3 Now's team will be there and so will Janet Ramsey. Ramsey is a longtime volunteer with the Komen Foundation. She fought and beat breast cancer previously, but now she's battling metastatic breast cancer. We spoke with her by, about why that makes this year so much more important. It just kind of like comes full circle. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was... It, it was nice to raise the money and be able to see what what the Coleman organization has done over the years and be a part of it and then come back to me where I need help now. Even as she battles cancer, Ramsey travels to Washington, D.C. as a public policy advocate for survivors, and she walks with more than pink every year. If you want to join Ramsey and the News 3 team walking to find a cure for breast cancer, there's still time to sign up. You can find a link to register on channel3000.com. Well, happening tonight, the NBA Finals tip-off. Yeah, that's right. It'll be the Dallas Mavericks versus the Boston Celtics. The Mavs beat the Minnesota Timberwolves in the Western Conference Finals to secure their spot in the finals. And the Celts took down the Indiana Pacers. Now, this matchup will feature some serious star power on both sides. The dynamic duo in Dallas of Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving going up against Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown for Boston. Of course, former Milwaukee Buck Drew Holiday also on That's right. the Celtics now going for another ring. Game one tonight tips off at 730 on ABC. It should be a good series. What do you like? I like Boston. I think uh, I think Tatum is kind of ascending, but 
he and Luca kind of becoming the faces of the NBA. So should be a fun series. All right. As long as it goes to seven. That's I'm right. Happy. I want to see that <laughs> final game. Right. Okay. Coming up after the break on the anniversary of D-Day, how the president is honoring those who served and lost their lives. And it is breezy out there, but we'll talk about when winds will ease some and also have your weekend or a sneak peek at your weekend forecast. That's coming up. And we're gearing up for 608 day on Saturday here at Hilldale. After the break, we're going to show you how you can support local businesses and also give back in the community in the 608. Get an 11% rebate at Menards. From hitches to ratchet straps and everything in between, we've got your hauling needs covered. This ToeSmart starter kit, which includes a 2-inch hitch ball and 5 ace hitch pin, is only $14.99 after rebate. Skill delivers advanced power and torque with convenience and portability. The PowerCore 20 battery is interchangeable with every Skill 20-volt power tool. This 20-volt four tool combo kit is $114.81 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. I'm Megan Tim, Director of Community Health at SSM Health. You may know us as healthcare providers, but we live here too. And as good neighbors, we know our community thrives when we take care of each other. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are sharing the keys to health. Watch for our expert information and advice on air, online, and at fun local events. Join SSM Health and News 3 Now, and together, we'll unlock a healthier community by taking time for kids. I've been with U.S. Cellular for 27 years. They've always taken care of me. But when they asked me to talk to you about their special customer event, Us Days, I said, I gotta get in shape. So they sent me this Hollywood trainer. Oh, this guy's no joke. Hmm. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers. Now let's try burpees. Us Days is back at U.S. Cellular. Current customers get $1,200 off any phone, plus $300 off any tablet. Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Evie & Co. Boutique for Best Clothing Store. Vote for Evie & Co. Boutique and all your favorites on MadisonMagazine.com. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Schmidt's Auto for Best Towing Company. Vote for Schmidt's Auto and all your favorites on MadisonMagazine.com. Ordinary is the opposite of beautiful. Beauty drops our jaws, dilates our eyes, and beauty is something we can create right now at Floor & Decor. I'm engaged and I'm getting married next April. If I hadn't done Invisalign, I probably would be dreading the wedding photos, which is not how you want to feel going into your wedding day. <laughs> June 8, 1984, just before 1 a.m., a monster tornado flattened the town of Barnaville in less than 30 seconds. I grew up 10 miles away hearing survivor stories. Now I show you why it happened. We'll dig into the data gathered four decades ago to break down the unique conditions that made this tornado so powerful and how it helped us be better prepared for severe weather moving forward. The science behind the storm, tonight on News 3 Now at 10. News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. We're back here at 643. Um, we wanted to show you a live look at Normandy, France this morning where President Biden and other world leaders are honoring uh, the veterans who were a part of D-Day, which happened 80 years ago today. 80 years ago today, you can see French President Emmanuel Macron honoring those veterans in Normandy. There you see President Biden on hand as well. Um, what an awesome occasion this is to be honoring these men who risked their lives on one of the most important days really in world history as you see the president honoring those veterans. Uh, some of the, the youngest veterans at 96 years old on this 80th anniversary. Yeah, you think about these young men who went over and fought uh, the war in Europe. Uh, it's 16 years old, some of them, you know, 80th anniversary, right, 96 right. years old, 16 boys going over there and putting their lives on the line. Many of them uh, who lost their lives being commemorated. Uh, on this day, uh, Emmanuel Macron uh, just finished uh, speaking, now presenting uh, Legion of Honor medals, uh, along with uh, President Biden. 
uh, to some of these veterans uh, who made the trek uh, to France uh, for this historic occasion. A great uh, crowd on hand. We saw actor Tom Hanks is there, of course, um, from playing in Saving Private Ryan. Uh, really just an unbelievable uh, day there in Normandy, and I'm sure those veterans are feeling the love. Uh, three Wisconsin veterans also uh, made their way to That's France right. for the occasion. CBS Mornings will have more on the D-Day coverage coming up at the top of the hour. All right, time is 644. Savannah Brito is here now with your first warm weather. Hey, Savannah. Hey, guys, thank you. Temperatures out there much more comfortable across Dane County and southern Wisconsin. 61, kind of the magic number across Dane County. That's what we're waking up to in Madison. But temperatures, they're going to only warm a little bit from here on out. We're going to be in the upper 60s today, so it will be a couple degrees below average. Waking up to the sunshine, though, clouds will be quick, quick to increase. I don't think that'll happen until later, say late morning, early afternoon. And then in the afternoon and evening, can't completely rule out a couple of stray showers across southern Wisconsin. I think most if not all of us remain dry though, but it stays breezy today, tonight and tomorrow. Winds will ease some over the weekend. That's when the next better chance of rain moves in. Mostly clear tonight. Temperatures drop probably looking at the lower 50s for most of us. Maybe a couple areas even even drop to 48, 49 degrees. Clouds off and on through Friday and then through the weekend. I think will be mostly sunny tomorrow and then a few clouds Friday night into Saturday. That's when the next chance of rain moves in early Saturday morning morning. Maybe a few rumbles of thunder and pockets of heavy rain. I think our better chance though again is going to come next week. This is why we have a heat dome building out west of here. A lot of areas in the southwest across California, Arizona, New Mexico under excessive heat warnings, even heat advisories. Hundreds there. They're going to be over 100 degrees. 80s over the Great Plains. Eventually that spreads into our neck of the woods and we are going to see some warmer air. I don't necessarily think it's going to be in the 90s or anything crazy like that. But we could make a run for the mid 80s, so it will definitely will be a little bit warmer out there as early as midweek next week. We climb to a little bit above average Our average at that point in time about 76 77 degrees, but we will be pushing, you know, even 80 degrees by the end of the set or 10 day forecast. I should say 82 by next Thursday, Friday and Saturday. I think with the heat and humidity, though, we could see a little bit more of an active pattern, say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week after the minimal shower chances the next couple of days. But overall, at least we're tracking a relatively dry and cooler pattern. We need it, guys. All right. Savannah, thank you. Hey, speaking of this weekend, it's going to be a busy one. It's also one of our favorite days of the year this weekend because it's 608 day on Saturday. That's right. And the man with the plan, our Josh Spryder, is live in Madison with how you can celebrate on this 608 day. Hey, Josh. Who's the man with the plan? Is that me? Am I the in That's the 608 you. Of course guy? Of course it is. I am. And in the 608 is going to be celebrated on Saturday, guys, for 608 Day. We're at Hilldale this morning where they're gearing up for their annual event. This is a great opportunity to get out, support businesses, but also give back. And we've got a couple of businesses that are doing just that. We're going to start with Freshfin this morning. Andrew Foster joining us. Andrew, good morning to you. Good morning. So talk a little bit about what Freshfin is all about. For sure. So we uh, have a couple of locations in Madison, one here at Hilldale, one down Town. We're really focused on uh, premium ingredients. So fresh whole ingredients, premium proteins, uh, seafood, chicken, um, alternate proteins, really kind of getting our customers the best product we can. Um, and we also are really focused on giving back to communities. So, you know, Dane County, um, you know, the customers here in Madison, big supporters, big supporters of ours, and um, we really like to focus on ways to give them value and the best quality possible. So talk a little bit about what you have up on the table here. And one of them is going to be on sale for $6.08 for 608. That's right, this Saturday. So we have here this first one, the sesame chopped salad. Um, been super popular. It's kind of new on our menu. So we're going to be offering that for $6.08, like you said, on Saturday. Um, and then we have a couple other options here. So um, you can add on proteins. So we have this seared rare ahi tuna and then a seared salmon. And then also on Saturday, we're going to be giving back uh, $2 um, for every salad we sell to Literacy Network here in Dane County. I love that, Andrew. Thank you so much. Moving on now, we're talking with Kendra Scott this morning. Megan Noble joining us over here at the table. Megan, good morning to you. Good morning. 
Yeah. So what do you guys have going on over at Kendra Scott this weekend? Well, Kendra Scott is based on philanthropy, giving back to our local community. So for 608 Day, we're going to be giving back to Diamond Dogs Rescue. Um, so from 2 to 4, you can come in store. 20% of your purchase will give back, and there might be some puppies there that are available for adoption. You say puppies, and I think a lot of folks are like, <laughs> what? You know, what is it like to be out into the community and giving back? Because that's really what it's all about. Absolutely. So every single one of our Kendra Scott locations has a commitment to give back to their local community. So if there's a cause that's important to you, um, it's important to us. And so we want to be able to support what's happening here in Madison and give back in a really thoughtful way. I love that. And you have a, a few options out here. So talk a little bit of what's on the table. So we have a little bit of, of something for everyone. So um, we've got some really classic, delicate layers. We've got some fun summer brights. Um, we've got some kind of seashell pieces that are very popular right now for summer. But I think one of the things that's great is you can make it your own. So if you've got a, a piece of jewelry in mind, you can design it at our color bar. I love it. I love it. So just a couple of the options that are available here at Hilldale this weekend. If you'd like to learn more about what is happening for 608 Day, you can go to the story up on channel3000.com. How do you like our little art right here? 608 for 608 Day. We are going all out, guys, and it's going to be a fantastic weekend. And Savannah's forecast looking even better for Saturday, too. Absolutely. Looks like it's going to be a great weekend over at Hilldale. Nice artwork. If you uh, have an idea for Josh, let him know. Your idea might wind up on TV. All right, coming up in the morning sprint, we have all of today's top local and national headlines. And we want to wish a happy third birthday to Graceland. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great one. We're back right after this. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Hi. Be prioritized. <clears throat> but it's a work call. Oh, a work call? Mm -hmm. Oh. Deprioritized. T-Mobile home internet relies on cell phone towers, so when their network gets not busy, the fridge, not the fridge. Come on. you can be deprioritized. It's too bad. It's a good movie. Yeah. Forget T-Mobile cell phone internet. Get home internet that puts you first. Get Spectrum. With Suido Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Suido Metal Roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. You want it, we got it, it's all here. Rose Martin, you want it. Summertime fun is in full swing in Rosemont. From grand slams to hot jams. To Rosemont at your way, start at Rosemont.com. Rosemont. Announcing Madison Magazine's Best of Madison Readers Poll for 2024. Vote for the Best of Madison online today, including Buck and Honey's for Best Restaurant, Best Catering, Best New Restaurant, and Best Outdoor Dining. Vote online for Buck and Honey's today. It's held over up to 60% off list prices on hundreds of items at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Incredible deals like this great looking reclining sofa with power just $7.27 or a great wicker sectional for spring just $8.99. How about a comfy recliner with lots of storage and so much more. But hurry it ends soon. Up to 60% off list at the huge memorial sale at Slumberland Furniture. Do not miss this one. To everyone making time for life's best moments, let us celebrate with you. In Wisconsin, we love celebrating together. Big days or any other day. <laughs> so much. From hot and juicy to ooey gooey to oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> <laughs> Serving you a handcrafted meal that makes today. Today. Today a little bit more special. That's what fills us up inside. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome, Welcome to delicious. delicious. Yeah. 
Eric Franke, News 3 Now at 5, 6, and 10. Moving forward. 654 time for the morning sprint. Beloit police are confirming an officer shot at a man during an incident on May 29th. BPD says an officer fired at 34 year old Thomas Sykes who allegedly charged at them. An officer told Sykes to stop but he kept coming towards them. The officer shot at him but missed. Sykes is charged right now with felony burglary, child abuse and several misdemeanors. The warden of the Wapan prison is charged in connection to the death of an inmate, Randall Hepp, who resigned as warden earlier this week, now charged with misconduct in office. He is charged along with eight others for their alleged roles in the death of two inmates. President Biden is in Normandy this morning as we're taking a live look there. He and the First Lady are there to commemorate the 80th anniversary of D-Day. The president will be giving remarks shortly at the D-Day anniversary commemoration ceremony at Normandy American Cemetery. 18 year old, an 18 year old from Reedsburg accused of hitting and killing a child with his car will not go to trial. Kevin Green's lawyers came to a deal with prosecutors. We don't know specifics. We do know Green's charged with homicide by negligent operation. After he hit 13 year old Evelyn Gurney with his car uh, while, he was, uh, while she was waiting to get on the bus last year. Green sentencing is now scheduled for July 31st. We now know the names of the two people killed in a home explosion last week in the town of Springfield. First responders recovered Rudolph and Ursula Niederhauser's bodies last Wednesday. This after finding their home completely engulfed in flames about an hour before midnight Tuesday. Their deaths remain under investigation. Both were 82 years old. The Georgia election interference case against former President Trump is on hold. An appeals court made that decision. It comes as a panel of judges now weigh whether Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis should be disqualified. The delay means it is unlikely the case will be heard before the November election. Well, if you like below average temperatures, you will like the next about five days as temperatures are going to be a few degrees below average, upper 60s, lower 70s. But if you like summer-like weather, that's when we get back to a pattern as early as Wednesday, pushing the 80 degree mark. And then we could make a run, definitely the lower 80s, maybe even a couple areas that squeeze out the mid 80s. So we're back to an above average pattern by then, guys. Yeah, a real comfortable stretch though before yes, that. the next five days. All right, looking forward to it. Thanks for waking up with us, folks. We're back with another new and weather update in 30 minutes.